welcome to the Otaku Clubhouse. My name is Akuma Soul, and I am joined today by Hawkeyes of the Final Brave. What's up? And Mr. Boncho Gato, Felix656, Naughty Nightwear, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. I can't come up with all of his weird nicknames at this point. Say hello to the people. Dab on him. Dab, dab. You, dad, you mean Dabby? No. Gonna, we gonna talk about your favorite series, My Hero Academia? Well, since you brought it up, let's make that the first topic and get the fuck out the way. Uh, so there was a <laughs> recent popularity contest for My Hero Academia. It was the sixth one of the series uh, uh, publication through Weekly Shonen Jump. And uh, the top ten, in no particular order... I think it was. <laughs> why do you? Why are you gonna give it in no particular order when there's no, a literal no, no, order no, no, to no. a top? No, 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 I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it in no particular order, just in case the you know the viewer hasn't seen this list yet. The viewer, the listener, uh, just in case you have not seen this or I'll give you the top ten. So of course we have Deku. You know Midoriya Izukaya. I, I forgot what his actual name is. <laughs> we have Deku. Izuku. Izuku. Yes, we have. Uh, uh, Todoroki, uh, shit, Shoto. shit, shit, yes. Shudo. We have Ida. Ida hasn't been relevant in like 50 years. We have Azawa, the new Kakashi. We have Kurishima. Uh, we have Hawks, who's a very popular hero, especially in the, the latest arcs. We have Endeavor. Oh, everybody loves Endeavor, especially all those Endeavor. women. Everyone's favorite character. We have a character named Shindo. I don't remember who that is. I'll look him up because honestly, I can't remember offhand who Shindo is either. Is right. it the uh, is Shindo the uh, the the mind control guy? No. <sighs> the mind control guy who they who uh, was originally written and was super interesting, and people were like, "Oh, I really like." No, this no, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're just gonna focus on. <laughs> On the topic, I know if we, if we go off on My Hero, it's going to take forever. But, you know what? I gave you nine, but fuck all of them. You know who's number one by a quite huge margin? It's our nigga, Bakugo. The, the prophet. Most, the most based <laughs> character in My Hero Academia by the very nature of his existence. How, how fitting that the character who was designed to shit all over Deku is now Japan's favorite uh, character as well as the Otaku Clubhouse. Well, hold on, player. Hold on. Don't tell me you like anybody more than fucking Bakugo. Listen, I don't like don't Bakugo, Swimbeer. right? I don't like Bakugo, right? I just like the fact that he shits on the garbage-ass man <laughs> character. Alright? Don't get it twisted, right? I mean, I don't disagree with Hawk on that. Like, Bakugo isn't particularly, like, a character I like. If I were to be, if I were to, like, break down all the characters I like in Hero Academia, it'd be a small list. But I really just like Bakugo hating Deku because at this point it's just, like, just the slow descent into disliking fucking Bakugo. I mean, disliking Deku was sad. Yes. You know, here's some some upsets, uh, you know. People didn't manage to crack the top ten by a long shot. You know, All Might, fucking Uraraka, the main girl, Toga, everybody's favorite, Yandere, you know. Fucking Mirio, Mr. Swimbeard himself. No frog booty. No frog girl. Night Eye, you remember Night Eye, he died. He's, po- he's important. <laughs> <laughs> overhaul no, uh, you remember overhaul he can't use his quirk now his hands and go oh, no 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 don't do that don't do that no uh <laughs> bunny butt no bunny butt no brown bunny girl uh yeah i don't know i don't know if that says a lot i honestly couldn't tell you I no, it says that this writer fucking writer don't know, know what he's fucking doing dude this nigga <laughs> shit on every character that he ah, built up bro okay, fuck this nigga dog Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I actually want to look in. The, I want to actually look into something a little. Give me a minute. Oh, okay. I don't got time for this shit. Okay, no, no. I just wanted to look more, and I decided to 
looked down the list and I was like, you know, that is kind of weird that there are literally no female characters at all. And I was like, let me look into this. So it actually looks like there are only female characters beyond uh, number 11, which yeah. is fucking they prevent didn't, Mike. Like I said, they did not crack the top 10 whatsoever. It's because it's the girls in My Hero suck, dude. Yes, they do. Yes. I'm surprised that nobody, like, I'm surprised that Miracle didn't get, and like, any votes or more votes. I thought she was pretty popular. <sighs> you got I mean, she fucking... was, but she got fucking, you know, uh... Then again, she might just be the Coomer choice. I no, think no, no, you no, just, no, 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 no. I think you just might have been this is, exposed this, no, no, to no, her no, from Twitter no. and from fucking no, 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 fan no. art. This, this is, like I said, this is based on the most recent popularity. She had her time to shine, like, what, six months ago? But then she got very uh, definitively written out of the show for quite a while. Or written out of the show. Written out of the series for quite a while. And it was like, I, I described the scene to you as like, just like a surprisingly fucking 90s fucking Marvel style scene that happened to her. So if you want to use your context clues, you know, go ahead. But that would explain why she's not as popular in this current popularity poll because she hasn't shown up. But you know who did? No, no, I don't want to talk about it. I don't fucking care. You don't want to spend any more time. I don't want to fucking Hero care. Academia. Maybe when Hero Academia ends, I will go through and finish it. But until then, I don't fucking care. More importantly, I am looking forward to whatever they plan on doing. Because there have been rumors floating around that Black Clover might actually be getting back to, like, serious storytelling stuff for a while. You mean the anime? Yeah, the anime. I guess the the, ten, the, the fucking 1,000 years of filler. Now, what was it in Naruto, the original Naruto? It was like 100 episodes of fucking filler. <laughs> I, would point, I would point more to Bleach when it comes to filler, but uh, there is a huge portion of Naruto near the end of it that is filler. That shit killed it in the United States. Huh? Well, it was everything after the fight between Naruto and Sasuke, the, Valley the final Andes. valley, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Just ruined it. It's like, how can... You can never return the stakes back to where they were. Like, fucking Sasuke abandoned the village. Naruto defeated utterly. The, the, the morale is at an all-time low. Now let's do a great ostrich race. Whoa. <laughs> the great tea race. How do you fuck? How do you fucking destroy something? Because at that point, Naruto was like the top. Like everybody knew about Naruto. People who weren't even into anime but knew about Dragon Ball were like, "Oh shit, let me get back into. Let me check out this anime real quick. This shit is pretty good. This is this is kind of like Dragon Ball in a way." And then that just absolutely killed it in the West. It took like five or six years for Disney to pick up Shippuden and. Yeah, it took a while. Back to when they recover. called it the Hurricane Chronicles. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Next, uh, some good news. How about some good news? One of y'all picks up. All right. Uh, good news. Uh, let's talk about Yakuza because it has finally surpassed 14 million global sales. Okay, that's which bad is, news. It, how's, how's that, that bad, bad news? news? Listen. 10 million of that was oh Yakuza. Of that. Listen. Yakuza, Yakuza used Here to be comes. my special little thing, right? <laughs> I used to like, I used to like uh, playing the games. Nobody else knew about them, right? You're describing yourself as a hipster right now. The, no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. It got popular, and fucking journalists started playing it, and they they started changing shit, and they fucking. Made a uh, garbage ass Yakuza Seven. Come on now, Yakuza sucks, dude. Yakuza Seven is very well received by both. Critics yeah, by and niggas fans. who don't like video games. Okay, Yakuza Seven Never played by it. a lot of people is being said to be the JRPG of this year. Oh, fuck off, dude. Nah, that is that. trash. What fucking Persona Five Real came out this year? Come on, nothing's top. Some that. people, some people are legitimately saying that it is a JRPG Final of the Fantasy year. Final Fantasy Seven remake came out this year. Who the fuck is saying that? Yeah, and who in here completed the Final Fantasy Seven remake? Hey, I'll finish it before the end of the year. I just, got, there's a lot of stuff that we weeks. have to finish before the end. <laughs> 
there is a lot of stuff that we have to finish before the end of the year. There's a lot of animes and stuff that we have to sit down and finish before the end of the year. Yeah. I actually sat down, and I'm not going to get too deep into this, just a little side note. I finished all of Kagura Season 2, Kagura-sama. Kagura. Is this Kagura? Yeah, it's Kagura. Ka- yeah, I said Kagura. Kaguya-sama. I finished Season 2 of that, and that was pretty good. That was pretty good. But I wish back to Yakuza, because... That. I know that Hawkeiser may be a little iffy about it becoming so popular, but I have to assume that like this is pretty this is pretty good. Like this is what Yakuza has been lacking for a long time. It lacked any appeal to people who are outside of like the Yakuza bubble. A transformation. Yeah, but it's kind of stupid because because of that we got a game that's supposed to be a sequel that is completely not in the same gameplay style at all and i think that's it's, a bad way to make a new game the same gameplay style like ugh, i don't want to debate this over the podcast but it's not completely all the all the that's different is the battle system but the yes. whole other 66 percent of the game you know side quest mini games just exploring that shit's all the same, if not better. Yeah, but when I have but, to fucking uh, do a battle and I have to play some you, fucking you Persona play shit, not nah, it's fucking but garbage, you like bro. Persona. You like yes, Persona. I like Persona in my Persona. I like turn-based RPGs and turn-based RPGs. You, I don't like don't, that shit in a fucking game that's supposed to be a beat 'em up. You're, you're just against the premise. And let me explain to you the reason why they even switched the shit up in the first place is because after how many games is it? After 11 games of beat-em-ups that are nearly identical to each other, I'm pretty sure there are fans of the series, some of which might be in this very clubhouse, who would get burned out by yet another 40-hour-long fucking RPG beat-em-up. And that's why the director is like, let's make the let's make the gameplay, you know, a little different different a little a little let's different just, yeah come on bro out. you're a drone dog I'm not a drone for games that you don't even play bro what are you talking about you're fucking you're like, oh, oh, oh this game is garbage you don't even play it even though the vast majority of people who played it say that they like it it's very well critically received it's very well fan received look up the scores on aggregate review channels or aggregate review sites if you have any kind of trust in those anymore but just look at people playing on YouTube. Look at streamers. Look at the look at the niggas on your friends list playing this shit. They ain't saying that it's fucking yeah, they all garbage. Fucking you're the one saying drunk. it's garbage because you're biased against it. You know, I'm like, I'm biased against just, it. Just, okay. Just, just, all right. I don't argue Hold that it. same it's, energy it's, when a game that you like completely nah, does a fucking God. genre shift and I, has it's happened before. It happened with Yakuza at the end. It turned into a shit garbage and it was dark third person shit. shooter. Nobody but the liked reason it. I'm saying that is because I played it for myself. I played the demo and I could come to the conclusion on my own based on playing, based on giving it a chance, not by being against it from the get go, but based on giving it a chance. That's when I decided that it was garbage. And you know what? They went back to the normal formula. They didn't it like, oh man, all the games are gonna be like this for no while. No, it's just one fucking game. Yakuza Seven is not gonna be the direction, the future direction of all further Yakuza games. You know why? Because they know people like the old style. That's why they made a billion fucking games. That's why they made a Fist of the North Star game. That's why they made prequel spin-offs where you play as fucking Kiryu's ancestor. They know the game. You gotta be rational, and that's why. It, that's exactly why I say, you know, that's why they make judgment, right? All these games, they're still going to make the good old-fashioned Yakuza, but to just be totally against Yakuza 7 because you have... I'm not against Yakuza. it for being, for existing, right? I'm, exi- I'm against, against it for being be a mainline title to get the full story after... Si- no, no, that's wrong. You it's, not wrong. Not it's, not it's, it's not a mainline title? It's not a mainline title? It's not a mainline title? When, spoiler alert... Here you fucking comes back, even though he was no, supposed he to be. Oh, no, he okay. doesn't. No, right, he doesn't. Bro. Yes, you, he you does. You brought this bro. up before. You brought this up before. This was over a year ago when it came out in Japan, and I told you before that it was a fucking dream sequence. It was an optional battle, and it's not canon. 
<laughs> Dumbass, dude. Ah, uh, okay, whatever you say, bro. You said get exposed. You're, exposed. Right, You're wrong. You I'm wrong. wrong. You're All right, so when Yakuza wrong. 8 come out, right? When Yakuza 8 come out. <laughs> You don't say it. I want. I don't want to hear a goddamn thing when they have this garbage ass fucking persona, fucking Final Fantasy bullshit, and then as and as the wrong, main you're fucking. Not even gonna, you're not even gonna swallow your words, right? You're just if I'm like, if I'm wrong, I will I will buy y'all because of seven and live stream my fucking nah, gameplay of it. Bro, way. it's on record. I will buy the game. Live stream it, I would, or either upload my gameplay to YouTube, but me suffering through that uh, bullshit. No, you gotta, you gotta cosplay as the main character. You gotta miss me with that bullshit. Too. Nah, that's that, that's the stakes. Nah, I already gave you the stakes. I'll buy the game and I'll play it for everybody to see me suffer through it. Rolling my fucking eyes. Next fucking topic. I don't want to talk about this shit no more. So, did I ever tell you guys that Yakuza of the End was my first Yakuza game? Yes, you did. That's a horrible way to be introduced to the franchise. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Since we just got over that relatively lukewarm discussion, you know, yeah, it's lukewarm. I don't think. Uh, let's move on to something a little more exciting. Ajit Pai is finally getting the fuck out of the FCC. Good. Yeah, but get this nigga out of here. He already did well, he too much fucking in, damage. He fucking dropped a tactical nuke and then he turned the game off. Like it's too late. You can't take it back. <laughs> There are actually a lot of people who they have been saying like, oh, well, you know, what did net neutrality going away actually do? To which I have pointed out to them, uh, do you remember a while ago, people might not remember this, Netflix specifically was testing something with Verizon users where all of a sudden Verizon users, just their Netflix, their Netflix connections just went super slow and netflix was like oh no don't worry about it we're not going to do anything with that and keep in mind that ajit pai used to work with verizon so he was always he was always in the good graces of these bigger corporations and stuff with him going I don't think it's going to make any changes. Don't think that all of a sudden net neutrality is going to be back and everybody's going to be able to stream stuff normally I, and has to we're be not going to have to. In. Like the senators have to propose a new law for net neutrality. So. Yeah. All I can say is really so long and fuck off because I am not going to miss his fucking stupid smiling face thinking Oh, ha, ha look, I'm trolling them. I'm trolling ha, them. Ha, fidget spinner XD. It's like, I've never seen a person who was so much of a fucking shitter when it came to doing things like this. Because it's like, if he had done it and he was actually funny, maybe it would have been something. But no, it was the fact that he did this, and then he was like, huh, what do the kids like nowadays? Fidget spinners? Huh, uh, Nerf guns? <laughs> Look at me. I got I got them. I'm trolling them, Mom. Mom, Mom, get the camera. I'm trolling them. Like, fuck off. No matter what he said or how, how funny he would be, he's still out here selling out the fucking internet, dude. Selling out one of the last forms of, uh, uh, of truly free communication. Trying to fucking let these corporations run wild? Are you serious? How funny can he be when he's fucking ruining the internet? Come on now. He's a fucking businessman, dude. He doesn't care. Fucking, that's all he cares about is making a buck off of you. Watching you all die. Watching everybody suffer. You know, actually, that's a good, that's a good thing. Let's talk about some more people who... Let's talk about some more businesses who don't really care about you and just want to watch you suffer. Let's talk about uh, Epic Games and Fortnite with oh. their fucking Kratos and Galactus. And I don't even want to say this part. The Mandalorian. What? The Mandalorian is coming to Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, the Mandalorian. That's all that's coming. Uh, Yeah, so more Fortnite skins because Fortnite just continues, and I don't know how, to be the biggest thing in the universe. Like, has anybody here played Fortnite? Yes, I played it for a while. I, I, it's not for me. I it's, haven't actually played it. It's it's fucking 
kind of like it's kind of jerky the way you move and the way you aim and it's the shooting doesn't feel good and I'm, I'm too fucking stupid to use the building mechanics see that's why I was against Fortnite uh, I think the premise was just oh it's a battle royale oh it has crafting like in Minecraft oh that's it that's, that's the two things well, two well it's barely crafting honestly well, like you get materials and then you build shit I I just think it was very transparent it's, it was wearing its influences on its sleeve so to speak but I know Fortnite has birthed many epic memes throughout the years, <laughs> throughout the, years the game the only epic meme god I don't even fucking want to say that without like fucking choking to death on my own words the only epic meme that came out of Fortnite that I like seeing is the fucking dance with whatever 3D model they add in to it like whichever day they decide to add one in yes I would love to see Kratos and uh, the Mandalorian and Galactus and Baby Yoda do the default dance why'd you have to say fucking Baby Yoda I, I hate have I ever told you guys how much I hate the name Baby Yoda why because it's dumb it's so dumb like the 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 official name that they have for the child is just as bad but baby yoda sound like i can't not think about that without thinking of like a young yoda with like some tims on and a really big t-shirt and some jeans and wearing the fucking backwards cap holding a fucking gun why do you wait wait why do you think a baby wears ghetto shit <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know. It's just like, I think of like Baby or Lil. Like, oh yeah, that's Lil Yoda. That's my boy, yo. Uh, nah, why he, why he talk like that? Uh, Lil Yoda got hit in the head with a baseball bat when he was a little kid, so he talked backwards. It's like some shit like that. Well, see, the thing I hate about Baby Yoda is like, it's like the fucking Ewoks, dude. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> fucking ultra corporate oh my god it's the baby yoda he's so cute i have to buy the stuffed animal oh my god <laughs> fucking... I feel like baby yoda is yeah i'd say baby yoda is definitely that level it just like, seems soulless like, weren't they releasing uh weren't they releasing like toys and stuff for baby yoda like around this time that the second episode of the mandalorian even fucking no, aired no no Actually, Dude, I... when the when the episode came out, they act for some reason Disney was like, "Please, please stop sharing your Baby Yoda memes and gifts, please. We don't want to spoil it." And then they were like, "Wait a minute, we're fucking stupid. Yes, spread your fucking Baby this free advertising for us, please. Go ahead." So I I don't even fucking I just I just don't I I can't stand the fact that like. Every other day, I have to hear, like, Fortnite news because Fortnite gets a new character. There's actually rumors going around that Fortnite might have, like, a Xamas crossover, a Metroid crossover in store, which confuses me. I can't believe that Nintendo would even allow that with how Nintendo works. Well, maybe they want to actually do something with the Metroid IP other than just sitting on it for 100 years. As long as it's not Super Smash Bros. Melee got a good chance <laughs> let melee die <laughs> that's my that's my statement on it if you have a problem with it you could fucking talk to me about it let melee die and stand by that my statement is why is nintendo allergic to money just re-fucking print melee just release it on the switch just call it the fucking smash brothers uh, hd collection and then just have like melee and, and brawl on a fucking disc and or no make it digital only for a limited time and call it a collector's item <laughs> digital only for three months Jesus. get it while you can god damn every time i give nintendo credit they always do some fucking dumb bullshit what are you giving them credit for yeah well, I, don't know, I was giving them credit because i was having fun with smash brothers for a while then you should smash ultimate credit. that's that's an entirely different thing that's a namco bandai game technically yeah, that's true. Well, they've been Namco Bandai. Nintendo's been working back and forth with Namco Bandai on stuff. I think that they actually worked on stuff in 
brawl with Namco Bandai, no. didn't they? No. Bandai Smash 4. Yes, Maybe. Well, you can still have fun with uh, the new King of Fighters coming up. They announced that. Well, they announced Generally, it. We know nothing they about announced it. it last year, dude. They just we haven't Ooh. seen anything yeah. about it they announced since it. then, and they just said that they're gonna show information about it on the seventh of uh, January, which I'm looking forward to. That I will. I hope they will show good gameplay. And Some of the information they gave was actually. <laughs> This is this is bad. This is like fucking JJ Abrams level, but they had to retroactively explain the story of King of Fighters 14. <laughs> what? Yes. So there's a character in there, a very Chuny character. What was his name? Shunhei or Shunhei? Shunhei. Chuny. Shunhei. <laughs> uh, he was a new character introduced in King of Fighters 14, and uh, the villain the main antagonist of king of fighters 14 is, is a character named verse and all he does is say his name ah oh, verse verse but anyways they have the same kind of power right and that power has something to do with reality you know space time continuum bullshit uh but more importantly what it does is that it uh it opens up, I, I would say, multiple timelines or something like that. And that's the reason why Geese is alive in King of Fighters 14 is because the time-space continuum was fucked with by Verse existing. And they said that uh, Chuni guy is going to be the protagonist of King of Fighters 15. It's going to be an extension of this concept of the story premise from uh, 14, which means that possibly... We could get uh, another dream match, uh, King of Fighters, and you know what that also means. A certain somebody is coming back to life because. <sighs> you got so basically, you're just saying you want Ash Crimson back. I don't want him back, but he's going to be back. If he's I'm definitely nice. gonna be back, and I'm definitely gonna fucking rage every time I lose to this fucking <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> no, Ash is not gay. He just looks like it. Nigga, you you lying, bro? The devil is a lie, bro. Oh, bro. Look at this nigga. I, that's what I <gasps> said. He just looks like it. He's not gay. Alright, bro. Alright. He got girls. He got a list. Name one. Elizabeth. Fuck out of here with that. Man. <laughs> okay, but I'm just telling you. Listen. It don't matter if they put in ass crimson. <laughs> Right? It don't matter if they put in some lame ass characters. Terry's dad? Terry and Andy's dad? I don't know what that is. I mean, this nigga don't even got a moveset, bro. This man don't even got like a set design. He's the one who taught him. Oh, no, you're wrong. You know Garo Mark of the Wolves? You know that coat hmm? that Terry's rocking? That is his dad's coat. Uh, I looked that up. So his design is going to be wearing the fucking Garo Mark of the Wolves coat and I don't know, maybe have a fuck nigga haircut like his sons and he'll have a martial arts that's a mix between them. That would be so kind of cool. He's just going to do, so the rising tackle is just going to be moving forward instead of going up? The rising tackle will go diagonal because, you know, Andy has the one that <laughs> watches and Terry has the one that goes straight up. Oh, that would be dangerous, <laughs> dude. I hope they he put my rising nigga tackles out. up and then downward. Who? Uh, Rugal, the cheating ass could, motherfucker, Rugal could, like, Bernstein. We, we just gotta hope that you know, uh, SNK got enough money from their illicit devil contracts. You know, with the WWE, with the with the Chinese, <laughs> and with oh yeah, that's uh, fucking Saudi Arabia. Oh, they do got money. Oh, this might oh, be shit. the best. And they've King also of got the yet. WWE. Yeah, this might be the best King of Fighters yet. Well, hold on now. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves, all right? It might maybe be the they'll have enough to have one. actual graphics now. Yeah. Well, you got to think about it. Used. You got to think about it. If they're taking money from Saudi Arabia, it might be some fuck shit in that game, dog. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, like, what's the worst that could happen? Mai uh, is just not allowed to be in the game. It's not the first time Am she's I kicked out of the game. 
I'd be pretty uh pretty mad if they covered up my she still, has the, she still has the fucking bounce, but she's just uh, <laughs> just <laughs> it's just hidden away behind it like uh dust from uh X Men. Oh my god, why do you remind me of that fucking character? Because I was reading that. I was actually enjoying that comic for a while. Ugh. Until they just randomly decided that uh no, I'm not gonna get into yeah, that. I'm not yeah. that that that's more bad X Men stuff, and there's lots of bad X Men stuff. I actually sat down and watched uh, New Mutants the other day. By the way, that movie came out. I thought it was still. <laughs> 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 it, it was in fucking. It was in fucking development hell. Well, no, well not even development hell. Release hell for like five fucking years. Yes. Hawk, if you don't know what New Mutants is, it is the movie that had a. Uh, girl from game of thrones in it as a uh, wolfsbane i don't you know remember, who that character uh, is Arya uh what is her name yeah Arya stark i forget what, what her real name is is that the horror Macy's... movie one yes yeah yeah it's the horror movie x-men movie was it scary no <laughs> no it was almost scary <laughs> they also decided to make uh iliana in it you know uh, magic. They decided to make her like racist for some reason. Yeah, well. Because I guess she's Russian, so don't worry, she baby. should be racist. I don't know. The movie was bad. Don't waste your money. Uh, don't fucking go see it. It was, tr- it was crap. You know. Uh, back to fighting games. Okay. Back to fighting games. Soul Calibur Six Huang was released, or has he been released? Is he out yes, now? He's out right now. Yeah. yeah. If you like Young Sung, this guy seems to have some of his stuff. Yeah, so he, maybe you guys can talk more about this because he is. Yeah, well, you he guys was can the original talk more about Young this. Sung. He was in Soul Blade. Soul Edge. Or Soul Edge. Same thing. Soul Blade was in America. <laughs> uh, right? Am I tripping? I don't. I don't think you are correct. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't know. I don't know much about uh, Soul Caliber before too. Yeah, well, mm, yeah, he's like, he's been redesigned and stuff. He kind of looks like, I hate to use this term because, uh, you know, certain somebody uses it. Uh, he looks like a Bloodborne character uh, in his default costume. Yeah, he, he has the hat, but I don't think that immediately just makes him into the Bloodborne he has man, the right? Hat and the cloak. And the dark colors, and he, his weapon is kind of like a trick weapon, like it fucking extendos, like Ivy's chainsword. He also uses like pseudo magic and, and with the talismans. It kind, I can kind of see it, but of course, since he is that type of character, uh, between him and Young Sun, he also has the Chinese martial arts. He has the fucking his uh, critical edge. I think that's the name of them. The supers and then. Guys, it's been a long time, but he just does the fucking super fucking common rider kick. It looks cool. I would definitely would like to play him since uh, that uh, arc, that I guess move set was my main in Soul Calibur uh, four. And it's been so long since he's been in the game. He wasn't in five, and he hasn't been in six until now. So looking forward. I th- I think that the reason that they gave him like the uh, the hood and everything was because in Soul Calibur Two, you remember the bonus character Assassin. Yes. He was based off of Huang, I believe. Uh, I don't remember, but I'm sure that makes sense. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you know what? I forgot about a lot of those characters in uh, Soul uh, Calibur Two when you were going Calibur through the little 3, thing. Actually. Assassin. No, it was in Soul Calibur 2 was Assassin. I used to play as him. I used to like Assassin. Oh, okay. He was cool. Because he looked like a ninja. Did you know SEO was he in like Soul He looked like the new Calibre Kakashi. 5? Who? SEO. Auditory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody forgets Yeah, that was that. weird. But then again, Geralt is in fucking sex. But then again, Darth Vader is in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda and before Star Killer is in. Oh wait, he's not canon anymore. We can't say his name. That's so Who's wild how one? Star Killer was in that game. That's I think that's the most egregious dude. This fucking Force Unleashed tie-in. 
They really thought that this man was the future of the fucking series, dude. Well, the first Force Unleashed did really well, despite the fact that the original trailer was some of the most, like, bullshit marketing it's ever. It's because it was... He pulled a fuck. Oh my god, he pulled a Star Destroyer out of orbit? Oh my god, I gotta play this game. And then you played it, and you were like, oh, okay, this is more of a, like, Devil May Cry style. Mm, I'm don't get do that. Do I think that game was kind of like no, no, ugly, no, no. bro. It, no, 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 not for the time. Not at the time it came out. The time it came out was perfectly acceptable. It's better than PS2 graphics. You gotta remember that. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, that's it. But you, we've discussed this before off the podcast, but we're getting to the point where when you look back at PS3 games, it's like, oh, this is ugly. <laughs> Oh, no. Somebody made a statement, and I'm very afraid that it might be true. The PS3 era was the worst era of video games. Nah, it's not true. Is it? Uh, yeah, I think objectively, yeah. No. Maybe it's the worst era that you've experienced, but, like, the fucking... Would you want to be in a fucking Atari 26 Yeah. <laughs> Well, hang on. The Atari era must have been fucking crazy lit because it's like, oh shit, I'm fucking pressing the button and the little man on the screen is jumping. No. You gotta remember, Atari 2600 era created one of the worst games of all time. The forbidden one. That had to be physically buried because of how bad it was. Not because, you know, they had too much and they couldn't sell it. No, because if they left them out in the open, would have summoned the Apocalyptia. Atarilla? Yes. The fucking... The but, man with the afro. <laughs> the fucking headband. <laughs> Just moonwalking in backwards into the, onto the earth. But, yeah, those a lot of those games around that era do not look great when you put them into HD. But then again, so do fucking... Like, N64 games look awful in HD. Yeah. Like let's let's not mince words. That the fucking N sixty four graphics, they aged probably like the worst out of almost all video games. Well, that was like super early three D, so it's to be expected. Yeah, I feel like the seventh generation, you know, PS three three sixty Wii. It might it's one of the longest generations. Of course, there's going to be a lot of garbage in like ten years, but I'm pretty sure, you know, I I think personally for me. I don't know if it's going to surpass the PS2 era for me, but it definitely felt better than the PS4 era to me. Like, because what if the fucking... What, what what would you say is, like, a, a, an experience from the PS... The eighth generation of consoles that you're going to carry on you said for the, the rest of your life? You said the eighth gen? The eighth gen would be PS4 and uh, Xbox One. And Wii U. I would actually say that, uh, I'd say that the, I'm going to say it, I think that this console generation may have been a little bit of a wet fart. Yes. Yep. Yep. Mostly because there was nothing egregiously bad from this console generation, but if you really look back at it, it's like, you look back at each console, right, from this generation, and you can say, like, there's that one, uh, killer app that was released on it, the one that fucking change the game or something like that but it's like there's really only that one like you can say breath of the wild for the switch uh what would you say for ps4 like bloodborne no the switch i don't think the switch counts as eighth generation i would say the wii u i can't i count the switch nah, as eighth generation wii u. it's definitely the wii u no nah, i count no nah, i would count the wii u as fucking kick it off to the and, side but until then again nintendo Xenoblade consoles Chronicles ever X. since the wii the original wii well yeah have been like half generational jumps they haven't been like at, they haven't been at the same pace as uh sony or microsoft so it's really up to you i would consider the wii u and the 3ds as seventh generation and i would consider the switch as the start of eighth generation along with the uh well it was yeah it was just straight up the start and then the ps5 and the sex box took a while to come out the early parts of the PS3 era were pretty awful, though, to be honest. Like, that was the that was all the consoles really finding their footing and stuff. Like, don't for, do not forget 
how bad the PS3 was at launch. Developers it had all of the stuff. Access to power the core. <laughs> it had it had all of the stuff, but it didn't like it had all of the different features and stuff you wanted, but you the fucking there wasn't shit to do on it. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? And you then, could play fucking Lair and Gundam Crossfire. The PS3 had <laughs> okay. Didn't you want? Didn't you one hundred percent gun them crossfire? Don't air out my dirty laundry like that. <laughs> there was a uh, that was like the era where things were like really bad though. Like early, like early parts of that era. Like that was when like the full fucking motion control shit was like in full swings, and like people didn't know like how to use it. So like if like every fucking game was trying to use the motion controls but they literally only figured out that oh if i if i shake it like this then my character will do an attack and if i shake it literally, like this then my character every game will dodge on ps3 where you had to cross a fucking balance beam you have to use the fucking six axes oh my fucking god yeah yeah i forgot about the fucking early six axis as well that was silly but i feel like like i said it just comes back to the it the generation was just so long that of course there's gonna be bad parts and of course there's gonna they have very many peaks and values and I like that. a peak of the ps3 era would really be uh you know the online games like finally everybody was playing online you know not to age <laughs> the otaku club or that but it was formed during the ps3 era during the seventh generation uh Many of our favorite games were birthed in that era, I feel. Or at least our favorite spinoffs or franchises or whatever. Uh, uh-huh. But then it also had... Hold on. What? You can't just gloss over that. What? What? What do you mean? No, what do you mean? I, I don't it's understand what you like, were saying. Many of our like, favorite games were... Yeah, stuff like Blaze Blue. Stuff like... I think that was the only series that was birthed in the PS3 era that I still like to this day. That might be cap. <laughs> I'm, yeah, not gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dig into that. Could, I'm standing by. It. I don't. I can't think of any other game that I I've bet st- you, if we were to sit down and think about it, yeah, we'd be able to come up with like, some I, shit I out know of that. for a fact that it, that's the case. Uh, but uh, well, you know, hang on. I got you right there. Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah, there we go. No, that's y'all. That's for y'all. Only like Xenoblade. No shit, more corny. heroes. Fucking there you go. Like corny. a whole bunch of shit. For hot, no, oh, you had shit, dude. Like I, I'm positive that you have multiple franchises. Hey, hey. Our, our series. If you can't bring the evidence. You guilty. That's all I gotta say, bro. Uh, name your your nine by nine right now. Or your top ten right now? My nine by nine right now. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Uh, Super Robot Wars, Original Generations, Zone of the Enders Two, Beautiful Joe, uh. Ace Combat 5. Um, hmm. I can't think. What else did I have on it? Oh, Tales of Zillia 2. Hmm. Star Fox Assault. Uh, Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasm Extend. How many is that? Seven? I'm not keeping track. Shit. <laughs> Look, point is the fact that it's not that era had a lot of problems. Mostly, I'd say that that era had more problems if you consider the hardware. Yeah, uh, it went on too long. The publishers and the companies themselves. But if you consider the games separately, like I feel like that era had plenty of good stuff. Yes. Man, I, hold on, I think y'all are really forgetting. Like that was when companies started taking off. With the shady no, I know, shit, I know, y'all I know. remember season for uh, not season. Y'all remember season online passes, 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 my nigga. Online passes, season yeah, passes. That's shit. That's what I was talking about. P- P- I'm so hack, glad. Xbox hack, uh, fucking giant, g- gigantic, like fucking half year long stretches on the Wii of no games coming out. Yes, it was a, it, it had bad times, but I'm saying like, it's just because it was so long. It was like ten years. It's like fucking. That's like. Over a third of our lifespans. <laughs> like, yeah, of course. That's that it is what it so, is. So 
I wouldn't say so. I, I stand by the fact that I don't think it's the worst generation. Mm-hmm. I just I can't think of it as the worst generation. I feel like, I and I'm not going to say this is the worst generation because I just feel like this generation is kind of just a wet fart. The PS4, like it's this generation is going to be remembered as yes, it eighth existed. generation. The, you can say the most exciting thing about it is that they kept re-releasing old games. So what does that say about? Them? <laughs> they kept re-releasing yeah, this, fucking collections of old games. That's definitely true. I'm very happy to have gotten <laughs> I'm very happy to have gotten to play that game from the PS2 again for the fifth time. I mean, although this generation has been nothing but things coming back from the dead. We in and just like I said before, if you can find the podcast that I said that on, things coming back from the dead. Guess what came back from the dead for a fucking second time? Uh... fucking G4 reunion special. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? How Should have left that shit. I buried. saw the the thumbnail. I'm not gonna watch the video. Ah, I don't. It was good. <laughs> oh, it was actually good. Like, yeah, they were in kayfabe uh, after a while, but the beginning when they were like uh, they were being candid, I think it just hit I'm me. I'm so with happy that, that you used that term, kayfabe. Shut up. <laughs> when they were being candid and like being open and just. Uh, it was like heavy, super strong nostalgia. And I wrote this down in the notes. It's just like, bro, we, we know what happened to Adam Sessler. Like, too much coke. <laughs> but damn, damn Blair Herder, damn Kristen Holt, damn fucking Kevin uh, Pira. What the fuck? You guys aged like 20 years in these 10 years since you've been off the air. What happened? I wonder if Olivia Munn is still dating the son of uh, the son of the owner of Comcast. Eh, uh, probably. That's why. That's why her and Morgan Webb still look good because they're married to fucking billionaires. <laughs> yeah, they're just wait. They're just waiting out their time. A couple more years, and you know, motherfuckers that's, will just. That's be actually married. incredible for Morgan Webb because, you know, not to sound bigoted or anything, but she's a white woman, and usually. They age faster than the other races. Olivia Munn at least has the Asian gene in her, which would explain you, a lot. You know what's really crazy? Going back and watching old X plays, and you're like, huh, Olivia, huh, uh, Morgan Webb, she is younger than me in this fucking video. Don't do that. Dude, I did no, that the other day. No, I was looking at her, and I was I like, oh my videos, god, she's I younger than I am. I just imagine myself as the age is when I first watched it. Phew. Uh, that's some high mental know. delusion, dog. Sitting yeah. there with the propeller <laughs> beanie on. I mean, damn, for, for our guys to call me out on that. That's, that's, but I'm just saying, like, I mean, he's right I, though. I, I, he might be right, but I like, I don't really consider it like, oh, oh man, yeah, she's like 23 there, and I'm like oh, 28. Oh, uh, uh. So I don't do that. I don't care. <laughs> I know she's like, oh, she's what? she's looking. Nice and right. Why'd you have to? Why'd you have to be super real there? <laughs> you have to be super real there for a minute, though. I, see, uh, the thing about G Four is that back in the day, back when you could be human, being so shit was fun. It was funny. So here's the thing, right? Here's but now. Thing. If these niggas would be saying the shit that they were saying back in the day on G4, if they were saying it now, it'd be over. And I think they're all going to get a pass if they all come back. Yes. Nobody's going to fucking care when somebody brings up the old X-Play videos. Oh, no. Oh, I've been doing damage control for the past five years. You can't touch me. Fucking Adam Sessler. Kill yourself. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? So now we have I no actually watch. <laughs> I actually watched a. I was actually watching videos of uh, Bruce Green from Funhouse, and he was explaining because he used to work for G4 TV back, like working on setting up all those different segments and stuff with Attack of the Show and all these other things. And a lot of what he said was kind of enlightening to the average minds of like other people. So one of the things that he said is that they would always make fun of cheat because it was like why would somebody need to watch cheat 
when you can just look these things up online. Like, you can look these cheat codes up and stuff online. Because of those and, legs, my Nick. <laughs> well, no, my ex. Aside from that, my thing behind it was the fact that as a kid who grew up and was basically poor, like being able to see like the cheat codes and stuff and watching all of the different games and stuff was really great for me because I didn't get a chance to play them. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like. Back when like cheat was first coming out, or when I first started watching it, we had one computer that was like straight up dog shit, and getting <laughs> you couldn't get on certain websites that had like too many ads. It would just fucking freeze the computer. Couldn't get on cheatcc.com. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go on the X Play forum so bad because they would always be roasting niggas on there. <laughs> and they would always be like oh yeah we were checking and then we found these motherfuckers on here talking and it was like oh shit they actually pay attention when people say things yeah that's another thing it's like there was great interactivity you never saw that on tv channels before then and you really don't really see it now it's just that everybody just relies on the internet now for their entertainment instead of tv so it's really unfortunate because when you really compare it like, I don't even want to say that. The The best way to think about it now is how streamers interact with their, uh, interact with their audience through super chats. But I so, feel like most streamers most of the time don't have the innate charisma to play a game, interact with a stream, and for it to feel like, you know, they're actually talking to people. And ultimately, that is only this huge thing to other people with parasocial relationships because of their lack of social skills and uh, lack of ability to speak to other people in person. So when they hear their names called by whatever streamer that they're really interested in, you know, they get that little hit of dopamine and it gets them going and they're just like, oh man, this guy's my friend. Oh, you know what? That actually, that gets me. I just came to this conclusion. Like, the reason why we liked G4 so much is because it almost had that taste of parasocial relationship, except there was that hard barrier, and I'm not just talking about the television screen. There was that hard <laughs> barrier of separation uh, between us and, you know, uh, X Play and Tag of the Show and whatever the fuck cheat. You know, I, I completely agree with that because it's like, and this is going to sound really kind of fucked up, but it was like the coolest motherfucker on G4 TV at one point was fucking Kevin Pereira of all people. Yeah. So it's like, you didn't feel like you had to worry about some cool fucking Chad stepping up and fucking embarrassing the shit out of you. I mean, uh... but now you have Austin Creed. You know, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, because, I'm you know, honestly they decided... fine with it. Austin Creed. I'm okay with I'm okay with him too. It's just you know, you know, there's there's a few things about that contest that don't sit <laughs> quite right. They're just piggybacking off of good, somebody who already has an audience. Like Shut you. up. We know. We get it. Shut up. You you'll get your chance later. And they're their second fucking revival. It's like, hey, remember when we came back in 2021? It'd just be like an old man. Like, yeah, I remember that. I got cheated. <laughs> G4, G- G4 Gen 3? <laughs> yes. Just like, oh, no, you know, no, let me stop right there because that's perfect. That's a great yes, transition. Perfect. So, Hollow Live EN second generation is apparently a thing that's going to happen, even though it feels like. It just started. Gen it's only one been just two started. Months. What the fuck? Why are they doing this? Yeah, no. I was about to say that. Didn't it should just this come out? You cannot do this. My assumption is that they're trying really hard to capitalize off the popularity because, like, they shut down Hollow Live China. Let's be honest. Here. Well, oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. I also forgot about that. But the fact that some of the girls, like Gora, are currently at like 1.5 million fucking shrimps then it's not too much of a surprise that they would want to capitalize more on that. I also, and this is a little uh, fucking tinfoil hat, I think that a few of the girls are getting ready to leave. I mean, I don't think they're gonna, you know, graduate, but I think 
Well, Coco is definitely, Kiryu Coco is going on hiatus. Because despite, you know, that suspension being a good time for her to step away, it really wasn't. Because all the whole time, and ever since she's been back, she's been getting harassment by the fucking Chinese animals. Like, that shit makes me upset, the fact that, like, I went and checked her Twitter, and I saw a motherfucker still coming at her like, we won't stop until you have graduated, and it's like, fucking get over and, yourself. And, you know, the, the fucked up thing about it, it's like, they're focusing on her rather than on Hachima, because, like, we all know, like we said on the podcast numerous times before, she did it on purpose in order to show solidarity for Hachima. So, fucking, <laughs> the people who aren't even supposed to be on social media, like, the, didn't China ban y'all? You're not supposed to be here. The, the, yes, you're not. <laughs> what are you doing here? This ain't, this ain't for you. Yeah. Somebody said that in the fucking tweet, and they were like, how the fuck are you guys even here? Do you guys have a VPN? And they were like, yeah, we do. Uh, I actually want to also talk about Hololive uh, Indonesia. Have you ever watched anything from them, Gato? Yes, because in many aspects, well, in a lot of aspects, they were the original group of English-speaking uh, VTubers who served as like a, a crossover point for people who weren't into the uh, weren't into waiting for clips of translations and stuff. Like there was, of course, Hachima Akayato. Then there was Kiryu Koko, and uh, then there was Hollow Life Indonesia, and all of them spoke English. All of them were fluent in English. Yeah, uh, the I've I just been watching some stuff. There's a Loft, I think her name's Loftine, uh, Risu, who was doing the whole no, no nut no nonstop no nonstop nut, nut. November, <laughs> November. Oh, because she's a she's a squirrel, and then there is also Mona. Uh, Mona yes who is the obligatory boing boing for the group and the new girls oh my gosh i this is going to be so hard to fucking pronounce because i do not cuz they're a, like a blend a lick... of japanese and indonesian names which yeah Jesus. uh okay so kureji who is a zombie girl with a sword through her head who I fucking love her design. She actually looks really cool. Uh, Anya, who is a lolly, who uh -huh. people are already losing their mind for because of a different reason, aside from the fact that she's a lolly. And I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to explain that. And then uh, Pavol Pavolia? Pavolia? I yes, I think it's no Pavolia. Idea. Uh, and people are losing their mind for her because she just looks like Mamako. Yes, yes, your ideal mommy. <laughs> like, her design really does look a lot like Mamako. I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, artist for her is just Mamako's artist. That wouldn't actually even surprise me. Yeah. The, you know, but yeah, the artist too. All alive continues way, to grow. Self inserts is that one succubus sister. Wait, what? You didn't know the artist of Mamako is a female. She uh, self inserts as. Uh, remember, I told you guys about this. Like, she wanted to be a VTuber herself. She wanted to be a big titty, fucking big sister succubus VTuber. I don't know what happened with oh that. My. Oh, my, oh my god, what if she turned out to be? <laughs> stop no, it, okay. Stop, okay. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> All right. I honestly think that that's really about it for now. Uh,. We can talk about some other stuff some other time, but I think that for the most part, we got it down all the major holes that are being dug around the world. Well, I suppose. Uh, if well, any more holes pop up, we're going to have to... No, I'm not... I... That's too forced. <laughs> I'm retiring, that mean. You heard it here. If I do it again, it's going to be a penalty. I'm no longer going to make the fucking holes reference to Gypsy, yada, yada, yada. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. I'm sick of hearing that shit. <laughs> well, I'm Akuma Soul, and for Hawkeyes of the Final Brave and Bancho Gato, this is the Otaku Clubhouse. We're signing out. Trucker man, take, care. take us away. <laughs>